Welcome back to my having a go sprint and camper van conversion. In this vlog, we're going to crack on with getting these water tanks fitted to the underside of my van. These particular tanks just came off eBay. I'll put a link to the post where I got these from in the description below the video, along with all the other bits and pieces I've had to buy to get these fitted to my van. Now, this is a the fresh water tank, it's 70 litres, and this is the waste water tank, which is 50 litres. It's more than ample for what I need to do in my van. Um, the fresh water tank, for some reason, is the only one that came with the, uh, the inspection catch, so, hatch. So I've bought another one for the waste water tank, which I'm going to get fitted in a second. The kit was pretty good. It actually came with all the fitting kit, the brackets. These weren't painted when it arrived, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm not sure why they, why they did that. So I've actually primed and painted these black myself. It came with all the, the sort of hanging hooks, the filler cap, the pipe work, and the Jubilee clips, drain valve. So it's quite a decent kit. I think it's pretty good. The extras that I had to buy was obviously the cap. The, um, the inlet, as you can see on here, if you can see it, the inlet for the waist is like a, I don't know, 15 mil or something. So I've bought an inch and a half tank connector. So I'm gonna cut that out and plug that in there because all my waste from the bathroom and the sink is all inch and a half. So that's why I'm gonna put that in there because I can just see that getting blocked up. So that's one job I've got to do, as well as cut that in there. Um, the other thing that I bought, again, off eBay, a separate posting, is a, um, a level gauge kit. So that came with a little LED level gauge, which looks decent, and it came with the sensors, and it's just a plug and play cable setup. So we'll get that lot fitted now. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do is get the inspection cap and the inch and a half connector cut in the van. Then we'll get the level sensor cut in. This is for the fresh water tank. Get that cut in here. And then we'll get the level gauge for the wastewater tank cut in here as well. So let's uh, crack on with that, shall we? don't have a hole saw big enough for this so I'm going to drill a pilot hole and then cut it out with a fine tooth sort of metal bit in my jigsaw. Next job, I'm gonna put a bead of silicon, or well actually this is stick like shit, but just as good, if not better. And I'm gonna run a bead around the top of this, and then stick it down, and then get some stainless steel self-drilling screws, and then fix it down, and that'll hold it. This is the top of the tank, so it won't be holding water all the time. It'll just be, if, so if I ever wanna drop the tank out, I can undo this and just give it a pressure wash. If anything is gonna want cleaning out, it's gonna be this one. is to put this inch and a half tank connector in there which will be a whole load better so let's uh, cut this one off first lovely right what I'm gonna do now because I can't get my hole saw on there I'm gonna tape that to it for dragon Here's our tank connector. On the inside, the threaded side, it's got a rubber seal, which is fine. So 
So we'll put that on the inside, but on the outside, there's no seal. So I'm gonna run a bead of this again around this lip. Then we'll plonk it on and then put the, the rubber washer and the nut on the inside. And then that will bottom that out nicely. Lovely. Nice bead of silicon adhesive. Beauty. Oh, lovely. Stick the nut on on the inside. All right, there she goes. She is tight. Beauty. So that concludes that part of the install. Next job is to get this uh, level, well, it's not a level gauge, it's actually like a full transmitter. So all it does is when this tank is full, there's the fresh water tank and the waste tank. So when the waste tank is full, it just brings on this red LED. So it's not like a level gauge, like the water, like the, the fresh water side. So it's very simple. All you have to do is drill these rubber bungs in and basically put your bolt through it. And as you tighten it up, it compresses that rubber seal and then it makes, makes a seal in the tank. Now how this actually works is really simple. So you've got these little spade terminals that just go on the nut and then all you're actually, all, all that's happening here is when it's full, the water effectively creates a resistance or shorts out the two bolts. That then sends a signal back to your little control panel and brings the LED on. It's as simple as that. So let's get this drilled in and then we'll go from there. So in this kit, to keep this up, it just comes with this flying lead, this pre-made up lead with these spade connectors that just push on. Now, considering this is underneath the van, I don't think that is very good. It's quite a good little wiring in the made up, but that being outside underneath the van, I think is a bit rubbish. So I'm gonna get my black two core flex that I've used everywhere else in the van. I'm gonna strip this back and I'm gonna solder it on here. Then I'm gonna heat shrink over it. Then I'm gonna get some sicker flex and I'm just going to coat that with Sikaflex, make like a little mole of Sikaflex. Hopefully that'll uh, keep it completely watertight and stop it failing in the future. So let's, uh, let's get on with that. So everything we need to do to modify the wastewater tank is now complete. Uh, I've just covered those two terminals in some Sikaflex and white Sikaflex as you can see. So that just gives it some extra protection from mud, water and whatever else from underneath the van. So it should be pretty much submersible now. Uh, before we get that fitted, we will get the mod work done on the freshwater tank. So all we've got to do to this is get this level gauge or level transmitter, sorry, fitted to this. Now this goes in the top of this tank, obviously where the cap is is the underside on this one. So if we just flip it over, um, fit this somewhere in here. Let's go. Okay, let's drill this in. It's a 60 mil hole saw, which I've got handy. So being an electrician, I've about a million bloody hole saws. So I'm gonna keep this to one side over here, just so it's not in the way of the, the washer cap and out of the way from the pipe. So the back of the tank, I think, will be absolutely fine. The only thing I had to do to this, I had to cut these tines down. They work in the same way as the wastewater tank. So when when the water gets to a level, when the water's shorting these out, or gets between them, it, um, it picks up the short between the two conductors. So at different levels, that's how the level gauge works. If you look, that makes any sense. So for example, you've got your lights, so you know it's full. The green light will be those two shorten out, and then the two orange, it'll short out between those two, and one will be a common and then the red will be the short out between these two. So that's how you know your different levels if that makes any sense to anybody. I am terrible at explaining that. So let's get this drilled in to the tank. So 
So same as before, I'm just going to put a bead of this adhesive around the top of it, just to give it some extra... And it's just got this seal and nut to go on the underside. So again, on this lead, this is just a made up lead, it has this plug which just plugs in. So again, this being underneath the van, I think that is crap. So I'm going to strip these plugs off, I'm going to solder and heat shrink every core and then I'll heat shrink the whole lot just because under the van it might as well be a permanent connection and then it's completely watertight. So that is a lot better, doing that is a lot better than bloody those crappy plugs. That's all the mod work done that we need to do to the tanks. Everything's fitted and lovely. I'm just going to run them outside and give them a flush through with a hose pipe just to get all the little plastic and swarf out of them. And then, uh, then we can get them fitted on the van. Let's crack on. Right, under the van we are. Oh, it's lovely under here. So this tank, the waste tank, literally hangs in here. So we are just behind the driver's seat. We've got the camera on reverse, it probably looks like on the other side of the van, but I am the driver's side of the van, the right hand side of the van. So how this works is, obviously it just sits in here. Now these, they, these are like hooks, as you can see, like so. They just hook into the hole there, and then the bracket, literally, one hand, there we go, hangs like that. And then the tank hangs in here. So that's as simple as that. Um, the only issue I've got is this side, there's no holes. So I don't want to hang it through these. I don't want it pulling. I'd rather it be like this on that side, hanging like that. So I'm going to drill another hole in here. And same again at the back here, over here. And so I'll drill a hole, I'll file it, and then I'll coat it in a load of under seal. Just to, this has all been wax oil, so it's quite good. And then uh, we'll get this tank fitted. So I'll just run a time lapse, get it fitted, and then uh, we'll smash it out and get the fresh water tank done. Cool. Right, she's in. As you can see, absolutely solid and not hanging below the van, look, which is perfect. But what is also ideal is actually my bath is here. So I can take my sink and my bath waste straight out on the floor here and just night it straight into the waste tank. So I couldn't be in a better place. Um, I drilled those holes and I sprayed them. The only other thing that I did, so that the, uh, these brackets didn't come with any washers and they came with like ordinary nuts. So I've put some nylock nuts on there, so they're locked and I've double, so I've actually put them on top of the standard nuts, which is loads better and I've put a washer on there, but they're hooked up and that is not going anywhere. So that's the waste tank fitted. When we do the plumbing later on, we'll, uh, we'll get this plumbed in and we'll show it in that video. But now, it's the fresh water tank, which has got to go behind the axle. Well, behind the axle, behind the diff over there. So we'll uh, we'll get onto that one, shall we? Okay, we're now at the back of the van, behind the diff, straight behind the diff. So we're sort of where this water tank here, where it gets mounted, is kind of between the diff and where the spare wheel sits in this cage here. So there's this nice big gap here. So again with the hooks, one, there's, a, there's two, there's a, there's a shorter one and a longer one. The shorter one goes into these holes on this um, this spare wheel carriage, but those holes aren't big enough. So I'm gonna have to drill them out to get, they, get these in and they just hook like that. And then the bigger hooks, uh, up here there's a chassis rail, this one here. So I need to drill a hole again in the side of this. So if you can see, I'll get it around here. Yeah, up here, I'm gonna drill, there we go in there. So I've got to drill a hole in here and then it'll hook down 
like that, if that makes any sense. And then the bracket, this bracket here, will sit, will sit a little something like that, and then the water tank will spit in this space here. So I hope that makes sense to any of you. The actual tank itself is shaped in this way, as you can see, to kind of the, the chassis rail of the van actually sits in there. So hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna drill this hole out. I'm gonna drill the holes in the chassis and I'm gonna spray them full of the under seal that I've got the undercoat, just because uh, the under seal, sorry, just to stop it from rusting. And then uh, we'll get this up. So I'll time lapse that. We'll uh, carry on, we're good to get these done. It's fitted. I've cheated the tide of this cable up a bit more, but I've done the same as the other one. Just put a lock nut on here, as well as a normal nut and a washer. That is absolutely solid and fits in there. An absolute treat. So that is both for the water tanks fitted, the fresh water tank, and over there, the waste water tank, if you can see. So all I need to do now is try and work out how I'm gonna fit the filler cap, because I didn't do that before. So yeah, boom, done. That concludes the underslung tank install. I've just drilled this in the side of the van as well, which is the uh, the water filler inlet. Um, I didn't bother filming that because everyone knows how to drill a hole inside of the van. That though, at the minute, I've just lashed it in here, as you can see, just through my cladding. I need to drill it through the floor somewhere and then just basically jubilee clip it onto the inlet of that fresh water tank behind the rear axle but I don't want to drill a hole in the floor yet because I want to get the other bits of plumbing bits and pieces done so I know where the, where the rest of the holes are going to go and then I'll take it through with those if that makes sense. So next video, or well the next couple of days, I'm going to be getting the LPG tank painted up and installed. So you should see that in the next vlog. Then uh, after that, we'll get it plumbed up, get it all rigged up. So it's looking good. Another good day of progress. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching my van build. It's getting interesting now. It's nearly getting there. Very, very, very close now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then go and subscribe. Hit the button now before the end of the video, if you're still here. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, I'll see you in the next one.